Welcome back everybody. Today what we're going to work on is a collage that looks just like this one. Um, you're going to make one uh, with some of these basic shapes and you're going to have the opportunity to have lots of artistic choice in what you do, um, but there are going to be some artistic skills involved too. Number one, we're going to make a collage. So again, it'll be smaller pieces of paper that we've cut out for specific purposes and then glued down in a specific way to make a picture. Um, other things we want to review is the primary colors and those are red, yellow, and blue. And you can see those colors here in my picture. Okay. Next, we want to review our basic shapes. In the past we have talked about geometric shapes. Those are kind of the simple ones like squares, rectangles, circles, ovals, and triangles. And um, today you can uh, be able to use some of the basic geometric shapes. And we've mentioned organic shapes in the past. And organic shapes can be anything that isn't like a math geometric shape, like little blobs, raindrops, leaf shapes, other shapes um, that you might not necessarily see uh, every day in like a math book. So like this one here could be a g an organic shape, whereas this one here, a rectangle, is going to be um, a geometric shape. Next, we're going to remind ourselves that we're going to do lots of overlapping. You can see right here I've got all of these shapes overlapped on top of this yellow rectangle and the yellow rectangle is overlapped on top of the black and I've got overlapping up here as well. So overlapping is whenever you take one thing and put it on top of something else and that creates some kind of depth and space in your picture. We're also going to talk about sizes. We're going to have bigger things like this big yellow rectangle and smaller things like this little rectangle, this red one. And we're going to make sure that we have a variety of sizes in our picture. And today's lesson focuses mostly on the idea of symmetrical balance and the half and the quarter. So what we're going to talk about is whenever you divide something in half, you can kind of see this square. I've got a little dotted line and I've got one, two pieces and it looks like this when you write it down. And a quarter when you divide something into four pieces. So I've got one, two, three, four pieces here divided into quarters. Okay, and or one fourth. All right, and if we use dividing things into half and then dividing things into quarters, we can uh, easily make symmetrical balance. And symmetrical balance is when something is exactly the same on one side as it is on the other side. So if you look at this picture now, you'll notice there's a fold line right there in the middle. And you'll notice that both sides look exactly the same. I'm going to show you, number one, how to kind of imagine both sides being the same. And then also how to fold things and cut things so that they're going to be exactly the same all the time. So to get started, keep this picture in your mind and we'll refer back to it every now and then. Um, and you're going to need a black piece of paper and you're going to need three smaller sheets of primary colored paper, blue, yellow, and red. So first things first, write your name on your black paper. And of course, if I, if I show it there in the light, you should be able to see it. Flip that over so you've got a nice clean front to work with. And then we're going to have to fold the paper. We're going to take the right hand edge and fold it over to the left hand edge the hamburger way. So fold your paper the hamburger way. And when you're done, hold it up so I can see it. Okay, now we've got our fold line. Now, the idea of symmetrical balance is whatever we put on one side, we're going to put the exact same thing on the other side. So with our paper, I'm going to have you start with whatever color you want. Um, I'm going to start with blue. And I'm going to fold this paper in half. Okay. Fold your paper in half. You can either fold it with your fingers, or I like to use the, the fingernails here and really crease it along those fingernail lines. And then you've got two pieces that are exactly the same. Okay. Take that piece and cut right on the fold line. Make sure you're cutting with your thumb in the top and your fingers on the bottom and you're cutting straight away from you. You're not cutting to the side, you're not cutting towards your belly, but you're being safe and cutting away from you. Okay. When you have those two pieces, hold them up so I can see them. Good. 
Now we're going to see about turning these. Mm, and I, there's just not enough space. So I'm going to save this one for later. And I'm going to take this one and look at that. If I fold it in half again, I'm going to get a nice long rectangle. So I'm going to take this smaller piece, fold it in half, the hot dog way. Notice how it's the long way. Okay, so it should be folded like that. Then cut along that fold line. Open your scissors up, cut away from yourself, and cut right along that fold line. Okay, and there we go. We've got two symmetrical pieces because we folded it in half. Now, you could arrange these any way you want. In my original picture, I kind of arranged mine like that. You could maybe arrange them like this. Maybe you want to have them just like that as long as it's an equal distance from the center. So, you know, you don't want to have one here and one over here. You want to have them like this so it's even, or you could have it out here like that so it's even. I'm going to take mine and I'm going to tilt this one this way. I'm going to tilt this one this way. And if you look at the little triangle up in the corners there, you'll notice that they're pretty much the same. And here, this distance is pretty much the same. So that's pretty symmetrical. Okay, now I'm going to take this and I'm going to glue it down. Don't forget with your uh, tap and glue bottle, you might need to push that button in by pushing down on your table or on your paper. And remember, it's going to be a silent tool. One bunny hop, bunny hop, bunny hop, bunny hop. And I'll put one little bunny hop in the middle. Then take that paper and flip it over and arrange it just like you want it. And take your second piece. Bunny hop, bunny hop, bunny hop, bunny hop. Last bunny hop in the middle. Okay, and then flip that over. And arrange it just right. Good, now we have our first two pieces of paper glued down. Now we're gonna make something else. Let's try, um, let's take your red paper or a different color depending on what you've used. Fold it in half once and cut on your fold line. Okay, so we've got halves. Now we're going to cut it again. Fold it in half. Now we're not going to open it up and, and cut it. We're going to leave it closed. Okay, now we can look at here and we see the fold line right here. And what I always say about symmetry is you want to save the fold. Okay, say it with me. Good. Now what we want to do is whatever we cut out, once we cut it on the fold again, we'll have exactly the same thing. So I'm going to start kind of right here and I'm going to make a triangle. I'm going to cut from here up this way to make a triangle. You can see my dotted line there. You do not need to draw a dotted line. If it helps you, great. Otherwise, we're just going to cut right here. Now, I have two triangles that are exactly the same, but they're still connected right down the middle. So I'm going to take this opened up triangle and I'm going to cut right on the fold line. And now I have two perfect triangles. They're exactly the same, right? If I fold them this way, they're exactly the same. So I could put those like right here. Could I put them like this? No, I couldn't, because that's not symmetrical, right? We want this to be symmetrical. So if I do that, I could do this. I could put them down here, as long as you make them symmetrical. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn them like that so it's almost like an exclamation point. OK? And I'm going to take this now, and I'm going to glue these down. Flip it over, bunny hop bunny hop, bunny hop. And then arrange that just right. Take this one, bunny hop, bunny hop, bunny hop. Flip it over, glue it down just right. Okay, and there we go. We've got our second shape glued down. Now, let's move on to a third shape. At this point, I'm going to take this piece of paper again and I'm actually going to cut straight from this point up. I'm going to make another triangle. Okay, so I'm going to cut here and make another triangle. 
And now I've got a second triangle that I can work with. Can I do that? No, that's not symmetrical. Can I do this? Yes, yeah, sort of, but these are kind of, that would be better. Because this side's a little longer than that side. So I'm going to do that and make a symmetrical shape right there. Okay, I'm going to take that and glue it down. Okay, glue that side. And glue this one. Bunny hop, bunny hop, bunny hop. Good. Now we're going to start overlapping. I want you to take your yellow piece of paper, or your last piece that you haven't used yet, fold it in half, and you're probably to the point where you get this now, right? Fold it in half, cut on the fold. And we have two halves now, right? Now I'm going to set one aside. I'm going to use this one. I'm going to fold it the long way. And cut that in half. Okay. Now, that one's exactly the same size as that. So we want to make these new pieces. I'm going to make triangles right there. So last time we folded it in half this way. Is that going to fit? Mm -mm. Let's fold it in half this way. We'll make smaller triangles. Okay, I'm going to make a bunch of small triangles to put on here. Okay, now if I take this and I do the same thing, I start from here at the folded edge and I cut off a triangle and then I open it up and I cut right along the fold I'm gonna get two smaller triangles and look I can put those right inside here and overlap them I can cut two more by cutting a line right here just like we did before and I got two other triangles for down here okay just like that and now look I've got rectangles that are just long enough to get into these shapes. So if I open it up and I fold, cut right along the fold line, I've got two rectangles that can fit right in the middle. One here and one here. Okay, I'm going to take those three shapes and I'm going to glue those down. Bunny hop, bunny hop, bunny hop. Bunny hop. Bunny hop. And two more bunny hops here. One bunny hop, bunny hop, bunny hop, bunny hop, bunny hop, and flip those over. Okay, so this kind of does our whoops, symmetrical picture. And you can see we've got a symmetrical picture based on everything looking the same on one side as it looks on the other side. So there's a reflection of a symmetrical picture right there. Now I'm going to stop the video here and I'll make a second video with me filling in some more fun stuff. So if we get this basic one done, something like it, we'll be happy. Okay, so that's how you finish your symmetrically balanced picture. It should look the same on both sides.